Magic was cool. I met the girls, looked for some clothes, but didn't find much. But um, now we gotta start prepping for Black Friday. I got a big photo shoot coming up and I'm really excited to watch everything play out. About to get all this stuff off of the shelf that I haven't tried on yet. And I don't know what size I wear at all because quarantine and entrepreneurship have not treated me well. So I have no idea what size to pull out of these packages. I'm gonna be optimistic and pray that a small is still appropriate. <laughs> and I will cry if it's not. I feel like I need shirts. I think I got all pants and no shirts, which is kind of tragic. It's a funny story. I actually took a picture of this dress in January while I was in Belize. <laughs> in January, and it is now like nine months later. And ironically, I've decided that that dress needs to be a part of the new business, not the old one. Crazy how that worked out. I know that I, I need to buy more of something and this will help me figure out like what's missing in this like initial collection. This has to be bomb. Why does leather smell so weird? So I've been talking about my new boutique for a while. New boutique this, new boutique that. It has not had a name though. Um, I've been trying to select the clothes. I've gotten the order in, a few orders, and it finally has a name. And the name is Melrose Blue. I feel like I should applaud or something. <laughs> so when we were at Magic, I, my intentions were to start shopping for the boutique, for the new one, but my brain could not get away from loungewear and sweatpants. Like every vendor's booth that I stopped in, my brain kept gravitating to Brazen. And it was like, you know, what am I going to get for Brazen for fall? And what am I going to get for Brazen for Black Friday? So I came home. I think I made like two orders for Brazen, nothing for this one. And I went online and I created like a color palette that I wanted to build my initial collection around. And I started looking for stuff. Cause looking in person was, it was too much. I think that's the thing. Like when you're trying to launch something and you really haven't clarified exactly what it is or is going to be, you get overwhelmed with the options. And then you find yourself in like analysis paralysis, so. It's definitely giving fall. It's giving fall. I'm here for it. Okay, so there's another color. Um, these items. And... Is this a small? No, it's a large. I feel like they're small somewhere. Hmm. This is when things get messy. And when my husband gets the attitude, so I make all the stacks fall. Oh. Okay. Now there's too much black. I can clearly see that now. <laughs> I just got a sale. I heard it. So this is really different than what I've been doing for the last couple years now. And it feels like kind of uncomfortable, but I kind of like uncomfortable. I know that sounds weird, but I, in my real life, I didn't wear sweatpants before I sold them. I wore, there was like something I wore around the house and maybe slept in. I didn't really go outside in it. So, this is allowing me to like find a new level of cre creativity and really feel like more of myself. 
Jans who likes fashion, not Jans who sits around the house. And it might give me a reason to go outside because I don't go outside much. But um, really it's just all about branding. I think a lot of people wonder like why I didn't just add this in to my existing boutique. The reason is because it didn't make sense. My current boutique Brazen is really known for like loungewear, like you would not catch this <laughs> at Brazen Boutique. And if I sold it, my audience would be looking at me crazy or like, you know, having all this like skin out and whatever, it wouldn't make sense. It would look like something that was randomly thrown into something that already made sense. And yeah, it just wouldn't have worked out. Now we gotta try on some stuff. I wanna get prepared for the photo shoot, at least know what size I need to put on. Granted, I won't be the only model in this situation, but I'm gonna show up here and there. So we're gonna go try on some stuff and see what some of this is going to look like. So, yeah. I'm trying on clothes from Melrose Blue for the first time today and I am excited, but kind of nervous because the clothes look so different than the clothes I've been modeling for almost three years now, so. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is definitely one of those outfits that Jance wouldn't model. Someone else needs to model it. This looks, this does not look good. It's not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Mm, yeah, I'm, need, I'm gonna need another model for this one. It's not so like baggy and, you know, cool and relaxed. It's more fitted and yeah. And this body ain't the same as it was when I started brazing. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited to be in something other than sweatpants. Next. Next. I'm like that ashiest person on earth. I don't know. It's gonna work for somebody though. Okay. Okay. Next. Let's do this. Oh no, I got a saggy crotch. <laughs> this is the worst part about like starting a new business. Everything be trial and error. You waste a lot of time and money. Okay, she can be cute. She got some string hanging, but she cute or whatever. Real hair on fleek. It's giving fat girl. <laughs> okay, it's definitely giving jazz. You should have had on different underwear. But whatever. I need more thickness. <laughs> it's giving onesie on me, but it's gonna give sexy on somebody else. I need like. Dr. Miami, somebody like suck this part in. <laughs> somebody, but this one's a lot better. This one got a lot going on. <laughs> Loop. <laughs> okay, we get it. We get the okay, child. Okay. It's giving don't move a muscle. <laughs> Take it slowly. Take it slowly. Okay. It's like I'm uncomfortable because I've been wearing sweatpants for 80 years straight. But it's like, oh my God, I look like a girl. <laughs> it's crazy. It's also like, girl, go on a diet. Like, what the heck? Leave the freaking Funyuns alone. Yeah, it's giving wear the black one, Jance. Don't wear the green one. It's so short. Oh my God. It's so short. <sighs> so, note. Run small, need to get a size up. If you're small, get a medium, period. We're just gonna go with it and act like that's not the case. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my God. Like, I think I need to like, Okay, you, we get the point. They're cute. They're cute, but um, we just can't zip it. <laughs> and that's ghetto. Okay, look at that row. Let's see. <laughs> it's cute though. Yeah, this don't look real cute on the models. Okay, see through. Okay. Bodysuit supposed to be seamless, but that ain't, that ain't seamless. Okay. I feel like I know that I don't wanna be the main model. 
uh, for this business. The clothes don't fit me the way I envision them fitting, you know, in the pictures and things like that. So I definitely have decided that there's going to be a, another body or a few bodies represented in this business. So for months, I have been basically saving inspiration for the new boutique. So like if I see something on my timeline that speaks to me and I'm like, you know, I can, I feel like I could bring that to life or whatever. I've been kind of like keeping it in a folder to get back to it pretty quickly. So now I'm gonna look at this board and see if it's coming to life. I'm gonna write some stuff, some stuff. So I don't know why, but like right now, Banana Republic is like, this market don't work. Banana Republic is like my little inspiration currently. And I don't know why, I keep seeing their ads and they're like super cute. So not necessarily their clothing, but like the advertisements, like what they look like and the aesthetic of them. But I always try to like, try to pinpoint exactly what it is in the content that's speaking to me. So like right now I see, a, it almost looks like Egypt or like it's in the desert that, I don't know, it's something about it looking like deserty, outside. It's very neutral. I don't know, it's giving safari. It's very weird, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep note of that. Um, there's a lot of like jackets over Jackets, over shoulders. Um, I don't know, it gives me like exploration. Like they're going on a journey or something. Going on a journey. So that's been like my, I'm gonna say muse. It's helpful when you're trying to select merchandise, when you're, you know, trying to select the right thing, you don't know what the right thing is. So if you have a person in mind that you're trying to shop uh, for, it's a lot more helpful in your selection process. Um, I don't know, I don't know my other girl's Instagram, so we're just gonna have to put her, her real name. And sometimes they're people I know, sometimes they're just people that I follow. Um, I don't really have like, you know, stipulation around who it could be. It literally just needs to be a real person instead of it being like, um, you know how you create like a buyer persona and you pull like this description of your target audience out of your head. I don't wanna do that. I wanna make decisions based on real people. That feels a lot more real. So I'm gonna look for some more brands and like start thinking through where people would wear my merchandise and things like that. And those will become, you know, the things that I talk about in my messaging and in my copy. Um, when I'm taking the pictures, I'm thinking about where I would take the pictures instead of it just being always in a studio and things like that. So that as I'm trying to sell it, it makes more sense for the purpose that the item would be for. So yeah, I think I need to look through my little fashion magazines and try to piece it together a little bit more. There's something about flipping through the pages that, I don't know, feels very good. I actually was thinking about writing her name up there. Her style is, it's more like, it's chic but edgy at the same time. So I don't know, I feel like it's one of those cases where she would like a little bit of it, but some of it not so much. I love monochromatic styles. I like mixing like the same color in different shades. Looks very like classic, but expensive. That's what I wanna go for eventually. Not just yet, but eventually. I love this like better basics. I think that's another thing that's kind of within the realm of what I want to do. Cause Brazen sells basics, but it's like basics as in loungewear. I wanna sell like basics, but like elevated. 
It's a struggle separating brazen and Melrose blue in my brain. I want to buy sweatpants because I know that those work and I don't have to think as hard about making those decisions. With Melrose blue, everything is fresh, it's brand new and I don't have anything that I can base my decisions off of. It's completely fresh. So I know that I need to create a vision board to really help me clarify who my new customer is gonna be for Melrose and really separate Melrose Blue from Brazen Boutique. We've been, we gotta introduce you uh -uh. and all the stuff. Kelsey's here! Oh, so excited! <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> like literally hates me. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. This is called Black Friday practice. This ain't even Black Friday. This is the practice for Black Friday. When we gonna inspect it is the concern. Well, I guess that's what the f I'll be doing tomorrow <laughs> and Saturday and possibly Sunday. The amount of bleeps that are gonna have to go in this episode. Is that the last load? No, one more. Okay, one more. Good. So excited. So excited. You gotta break the page. <laughs> Lots of boxes. So excited. Everybody's excited. Everybody. Kelsey, you're excited? No. Kelsey, huh? You're excited. Yay, so excited. <laughs> She's lying. Fact. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Kelsey, you gotta find a manifest. I tried. She said you gotta find a what? The, the manifest. manifest. I saw it and my silly stuff didn't grab it. That's what I'm saying. It was on. <laughs> Go for it. That was that was a sign for you ain't helping, huh? Are you about to leave? You about to leave, ain't you? Your 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 aura is telling me you about to leave. Okay, cool. I know. I, it was it was silly on my part. It was very silly on my part. I know. Okay, I'm about to find it. I'm about to find it. There are 53 boxes in this shipment. I'm overwhelmed. Negative $60 today, that is amazing. That's amazing, I'm really doing a damn thing out here. Here, Kelsey, take my picture. <sighs> the photographer, <laughs> magic. <laughs> you gotta do it, every time. Even though this ain't even all of them. Stop talking. <laughs> Wait, are we looking for a manifest? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, it seemed like you thought we were just moving about. Yeah, I thought looking? we, I thought we forgot that we were looking for the medicine. Okay, excuse me, my bad. You right? It's on this one. I bet. Nope. Oh, it's on this one. Nope. So this is the manifest, which tells us all the things that should be in all of these boxes. So there are three, four, five pages of merchandise and it tells you the quantities, the style numbers, the colors, sizes, all the things. And we have to verify it now. We have to open the box and verify that all the things are in the box. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna pass it off to Kelsey. <laughs> Four. Yep. Because it's just 20. Dang, I got a I got a call in 12 minutes. I mean in 10 minutes. Uh, OC3502. I probably should schedule a photo shoot like immediately. Got it. I need to get yeah, some stuff. Hey. I need to get some stuff out. I need a photo shoot like right now today. In this Plus very size. moment. Plus yep. Because it's not enough room. I need to like literally be selling it as it comes one. Because it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. Not this should be alcohol. I just got stressed One. thinking about it.
not my cheese. I had some cheese it. Dirk, me, you if ate you my cheese it. They're mine. If you want some, eat no, them. No, not these cheese it's. Dirk, you ate my cheese it's. Huh? Yeah. That's a yeah. Did you just say duh? He definitely said duh. Wow. <laughs> you ate him while I was out of town. He said duh. <laughs> That's wild. These ain't even the good kind. It's regular. <laughs> My God. Everything's good so far? So far. It be lying though. The numbers is wrong. You open it, it's supposed to be a small, medium, large, extra large, and it end up being small, medium, medium, large. Be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Did you just pull that off of your head? You a dirt devil. That could have fell on your head. Wow. Uh, excuse me, let me not insult your strength. So this is my second biggest, uh, well, no. Yeah, this is the biggest. This is the biggest order. The second biggest was 53 boxes. This one's 60. So this is the biggest thus far. We're moving on up in the world. Come on, you gonna throw it when I jump. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I'm planning two photo shoots at one time and that is quite the task. I need to separate the two, clearly. Um, with Melrose Blue, I'm thinking more outside, whereas for Brazen Boutique, I'm thinking my typical, but with more models, with more bodies, with more representation. So with Brazen, I'm a lot more sure of what the photo shoot will look like. With um, Melrose Blue, I'm still kind of figuring it out. So we're gonna go look at some locations and Hopefully, find us something that is in, in alignment with the vision. So we're at the Ferris wheel, and um, I'm thinking about this being a location for taking some pictures. I think I might take like some test shots or whatever with my iPhone just to have an idea of types of shots that might work for the boutique. I don't know, I wanna get some variation and just really think through like the overall look and feel of the content. So I'm gonna take some pictures, see what it looks like, make a little fake, you know, feed and see what it looks like and yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know why, but I really have something against grass. I really hate seeing grass in pictures. I, I've established that I like things that look like industrial, not grassy and outdoorsy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm weird like that. This area with like the Ferris wheel in the background or something. Oh, oh, it's hot. Ferris wheel is giving me very much like we're getting engaged. <laughs> it's not really the vibe I'm going for. It's very family down there. I'm not, I wasn't impressed. I don't think I've ever noticed this. Kind of cute. I like the openness of here. I like the color of the ground. It could work out. I can see it. I can see it with the buildings in the background. I like it. I like this one. It feels like New York in St. Louis. I really wish I could knock down all the trees. <laughs> I'll remove them from the pictures. Yeah. My type of vibe. I feel like I enjoy color a lot. And obviously this is a lot of color, a lot of life, a lot of color. Now the issue is there's potentially too much color, too much personality. And if you're looking hard enough, you might see a message that you don't want to see, which is, which could be bad for business, potentially, depending on what I don't catch with my eye. 
So, I don't know, but I love it. It's grungy, there's personality, there's lots of glass on the ground. <laughs> this is really cute. I like the gold and silver, the woman. I can see it. I mean, not for like all of the content, but for some content, I can see it. It's cute. She cute. I like it. The different textures. So the locations that we looked at, I had different feelings about each one of them. There's, you know, outdoors, and there's, you know, more of a family date night vibe, but then there's like this grungy um, street art side. And I feel like with Melrose Blue, neither one of them kind of are what I'm looking for just yet. So I think it gave me a good, gave me good insight of what it is not. And now I need to clarify what it will be. So Melrose Blue, we're gonna put her off to the side for a second. We're gonna focus in on Brazen Boutique's photo shoot, which is coming up for Black Friday. So I need to find some models. I'm going to have the best photography, the best video done for this photo shoot. I'm really excited because it's going to be really big on representation and making sure that everybody can see themselves in Brazen Boutique. So I'm really excited about bringing everybody together and getting it all figured out so that I can bring my Black Friday visions to life.